Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for my twin flames. Today I'm going to ask Spirit, what is going on in your twin flame connection? Where is it headed? What are they thinking and feeling? Any guidance that Spirit has for you today. So this can be for any sign if you feel drawn to this reading and your person can be any sign as well. So welcome back everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. This is a fully channeled message. Spirit, if you can please share with me any messages from my twin flames connections today. What is it that you need us to hear? What is it that you need us to know? I am listening for you now. Let's see. I want to call you. Okay. Somebody wanting to reach out to you. The last time we saw each other, I was trying to hide my feelings. That's that's a uh, runner feeling energy, right? Somebody who holds back. Um, would you accept my offer if I reached out to you to talk, to see you, to be with you again? Let's see what else we're, we're, what else we're feeling. And of course, we can't ever deny the chemistry that twin flames have. I mean, that's why twin flames are um, so difficult to understand. It's because the chemistry is so off the charts. You just don't feel the same way for anyone else. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like and that subscribe button. Very grateful that you've joined me today. Spirit, please share with me my twin flame. Um, they're hiding their feelings. Okay. Uh, boy, that's common, right? That's a, that's a, that's like a no brainer is how I feel like they're always hiding their feelings. Let's see what we have. I have an eight of wands. Eight of Wands. I have a Magician. I have a Magician. I have a Ten of Wands and a Knight of Swords. Um, it did just come into me as working hard at breaking the cycle. I will tell you that I did see this Knight as putting in the effort to break the cycle, trying harder with their Magician, you know, like all of their magi Magician skills. Um, Spirit just said it's just a matter of time, um, something that's going on with this, um, whether they want you to be patient and wait for this person or wait for them to um, come forward with what their feelings are. But right now I do feel like it's it's been a long road. It's a struggle. It's like pulling teeth. I have the moon. I'm afraid that they don't want the same thing as, as you want. I'd like it to be a little bit easier. And I have a King of Cups. So the feelings are there. The feelings are there. It's interesting. It's almost like under the surface of either the games that they play or their attitudes or underneath the surface. I feel like the feelings are there and they're starting to recognize this is bigger than us with the judgment card at the bottom of my deck. So they're starting to realize like we could be really happy. It's almost as if they are playing out their future in their mind, you know, where they're kind of forecasting their future with you, what it would be like to be with you, you know, long term or would this ever work out? So they may not be sharing that with you. They may not be expressing those feelings. They are holding those in, but it's a lot of, kind of daydreaming feelings of what it would be like if we could just uh, figure this out, if we could figure us out, you know, <laughs> like what would, what, what could our future be? Are we holding back? Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I do feel that. I, I feel that there is a little bit of an enlightening feeling coming in that there's a, I want to be open to this kind of connection. It's just that I've never felt this way before. And it could be scaring them. It could be overwhelming them. It could be just a feeling of, I know that this is different this time, but um, most people don't want to come out and say, I'm overwhelmed. You know, they don't want to come out and say, like, this is just all too much for me. Um, they hold it back and you, you know, you feel like you're trying to be, you know, mind reader, look in a crystal ball with them, but they've got to express their feelings and they've got to share. They got to have the courage. I find the inner strength to face the fear with confidence. 
reaching for the courage, realizing that if I don't start to express my feelings and I'm not all in, then they're going to lose you. You're going to walk away, twin or no twin. And nobody wants to be in a relationship with somebody that you don't know where you stand. And I have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Almost a feeling of when I'm not with you, I grieve you. When I'm, you're not in my you know, if you guys are on again, off again, which twins have a tendency to do, or they push you away, you could still be in a relationship, but they emotionally pushed you away. It's a sense of loss. It's a sense of, um, I can feel you not being connected to me. And sometimes you could be sitting in the same room with somebody and not feel connected to them. So you need to reconnect with this person. And this person needs to open up with their feelings spirit please share with me where where do you want us sunglasses watching looking stalking okay um almost like hiding behind these sunglasses like i'm watching you and i'm listening and i'm seeing where this goes but are they participating are they are they putting in the effort that you need them to put in the effort you know they can't just you know, kind of watch you from afar and hope that this relationship is going to get better. So something's going on. An addiction, obsessive, con controlling um, behaviors. Twins do have a tendency to become very obsessive, very jealous. Um, they can be push you away because of jealousy for no reason, obsessing over crazy things, accusing you of things that you didn't even do, um, just out of complete fear of the thought of you doing those things. So is there any of those actions going on that need to be you know, addressed? A girl with a snake, um, narcissistic, being charmed, being feeling you setting boundaries. Okay. Like I need to set boundaries in this relationship. Absolutely. And then a coffin for every ending brings new beginnings, a transition. If you feel like that you are disconnected from this person, you're disconnected from your twin right now, for whatever reason, they, they've put things on hold. They are um, cool, a cooling off period spirit just said for some reason. Um, it's a feeling of, you know what, you've got to learn something, you've got to grow, you've got to get something out of your system in order to trust again. So uh, we definitely have a trust issue just came in. So somebody's not trusting the other. And maybe we've, we've had some difficulty with that recently. Spirit, please share with me their feelings. What is my twin feeling and thinking? You are sweet. I do have this love for you. Twins can be not communicating, but still be in love with each other. And that's the kind of ironic thing about twins. It's like, how can I love somebody that I'm not even with, or we're in separation, or this person hurt me? It's like, how do we do that? I want to be more than friends. We've got to move out of the comfort zone of um, that we are on a deeper level, that we're sharing our feelings, that we're intense, you know, about our feelings, good, bad, or ugly. Okay. You know, we, we want to be there for the other person, uh, spiritual growth. When I push you away, the only thing I'm hoping that you do is that you grow, you grow spiritually. I grow spiritually because twins have to grow. They're a spiritual union. So they have to grow. If they don't grow and learn lessons, they, they don't have a chance at a reunion. So if you're waiting for someone, spiritual growth in this connection, I'm going through a tough time. I pushed you away for other reasons. That's always a big one. They, they, it's almost an excuse. I'm pushing you away because work is hard. Stress is hard. You don't get it. Um, so they don't, they're not identifying why they're really pushing you away. They pushed you away because of uh, fear or they don't want to be intimate with their feelings or this just got real. But they usually use those excuses, those outside material world excuses for the reason why they can't be in this connection. Focus on you. They'll say, you know what? You have to do some growing and some changing. I'm going to do some growing and some changing. If it's meant to be, it will be. So they push you away on, under this kind of umbrella of, you know, it's good for us. And it could be, it could be definitely good for you because when you return, if you have done that growth, it will be better. 
but you also want to understand why they're pushing. I'm trying to let go, but I can't. The reality is twin flames cannot get them get each other out of the system. They can date other people. They could even be in other relationships for a long time. But they have such a hard time re releasing that one person that they've never felt so intimate with or so, um, you know, the chemistry, the intimacy, the... Uh, the bonding, whatever it is that that was working. Um, so it's really, really hard to let let that go. The karmic is blocking our connection. That came into me as there is there someone interfering. True love is timeless. So give this time. I do feel like this particular connection needs a little bit of love, tender, loving care. It needs a little bit of patience. Um, it's just a matter of time that spirit had said that we'll um we'll be together again so this is this is one of those journeys which truly is um a journey that you have no control over so you may need to surrender over and over again you are so special to me can twins love you and at the same time say i can't do this right now yes i don't know why you are my soulmate. You're my twin. You're, it is a soul. It's a spiritual connection. I'm feeling insecure. I'm not ready to love you the way that you deserve to be loved. That's another kind of fear-based comment that, you know, you deserve better than me. Um, I'm not good enough for you. Uh, those are all things that somebody says that feels they feel insecure about themselves and what they're bringing into the relationship. So obviously that's somebody that needs to grow because until they are able to say, um, you know, I'm, I am the best thing that, that could be in your life. I want to be the best thing for you. Um, and we could be good for each other, but they, they say, oh, you deserve better. You could be with somebody better, which is like their ego talking and just somebody that needs their ego stroked, you know, so that you say you are the best thing for me and I don't want to be with anybody else. And you shouldn't have to, you know, stroke their ego to that extent. You know, you, they should be more self-confident than that. Spirit, what do you have for us? Divine timing. There it is. Patience, <laughs> perseverance, peace, trust that the divine knows, you know, when this connection is going to uh, be together, be healthy, be happy, um, continue on the same journey. It's a breakthrough, a transformation. You're ready for the next level. If you both have learned some lessons and you guys are doing really well, you could be really transforming. You could go going, you know, the reason why twins, it's, it's, twins are really amazing when they work. Twins are, are incredible. It's a beautiful, loving energy. It's very deep soul connection. So when they work, it is beautiful. So we want to, we have that to look forward to. Your divine feminine, you're seeking your twin and your soulmate. That divine feminine is seeking that, that masculine energy so that we have that, that match and that balance going on there um, with both of you. Appreciate. I am grateful. Your twin appreciates you. You want to feel appreciated. You want to feel like you're not just putting putting all the effort into the relationship, that they're putting in the effort as well. Let's see what else spirit is saying today. Any guidance spirit? So I did have the feeling of I feel overwhelmed, hiding their feelings. Um, they need to make you feel appreciated. They need to make you feel like, you know, we're balancing each other. I, I feel like that's important. So what are they working on? I have an empress. Yeah, you, you're, that feminine energy is strong. I want somebody who is coming into my life that, you know, appreciates me is how I feel. Four of pentacles, the chariot. We've got these kings. This king is strong. I have an ego, you know, an ego here with I'm passionate about you. I want what I want. <laughs> um, a little bit of um, it's not all about them. There's two people in this connection. And maybe that's why we've had some friction lately. Or maybe that's why we are working through some things. But it is a feeling of it's not all about them. It is about I need I need to feel loved. I need to feel nurtured. 
I need to be told I'm loved. I need to know that, you know, you're in my life for um, the long run or whatever it is that you guys are working through. But right now it's a, um, I, I've got an ego, you know, that's kind of, you know, think of it as a, the third party involved here is the ego. You know, it's like the ego is the interference. I have a justice and I have a, 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 ju a, a, a judgment. So I want to know, is this moving into a committed relationship? Are we going to be more to each other? And, and that could be something that's really been, um, we've been going back and forth. This connection overwhelms me. This person doesn't reveal their feelings. They, whenever I bring up you know, something that's more serious or uh, talks about the future. They shut me down. They don't really answer the questions. I, I don't feel that we are, um, I know we love each other. I'm going to say it that way. I know we love each other, but this particular twin is either afraid to be hurt, afraid, yeah, look at bottom of my deck, like you're the one that could break my heart. I'm afraid that this could all go away. If I give you my heart, you could destroy me. You know, I'm afraid that if I, the more I give, the more hurt I would, I would have. But if we're not willing to risk giving our heart, if we're not willing to risk being honest and truthful, then we don't get the benefits of a healthy, happy relationship either. So this person has to, to realize that this is bigger than them. And, they have to accept it for what it is. They have to accept that um, it's just a, you know, um, it's, a, it's a spiritual union and they might not understand their feelings and you might not understand your feelings because it's, it's hard to wrap your head around how twin flames come together. It's just such a, it's like, a, <laughs> it, it's kind of surreal in a sense but you both have to learn to understand. My main focus right now is, is my empire. There's the excuses. I'm put it, throwing my, I'm throwing, I'm pushing because I have to work on my business. I have to make money. I've got other areas of my life that are, are theoretically more important to me. So um, there's the excuses. No more excuses. I just want to have fun. Can't we not talk about where we're going to be in the future and just have fun? That might be great for them, but that might not be great for you. You know, somebody who just wants to have a good time. It's awesome. But you want to know where you stand. Give me a few more months. Spirit saying, I, I do want this to be um, to give this person time. It took me a while to see you were right. My ego was in the way. Do I think this is going to move forward? I, I do feel that I do feel like that's going to happen. I think that this person is going to start to open up a little bit more. OK, they had said it's just a matter of time, you know, that they're overwhelmed by this journey. They're overwhelmed with their feelings. It's, it's not anything that they've experienced before. They don't understand it. They're trying to understand it. Their ego's getting in the way. Their excuses are getting in the way. So we've got to let this person realize, I'm so stressed about everything I've done. So that feels like an apology of some kind. Sometimes I check my phone and messages to see if you've reached out. So I want to know, you know, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? Even if they pushed you away, it's almost as if they want you to chase them and say, I need you to, I need you to tell me that, um, you still want me more than anyone, you know, so there's a lot of back and forth going on here. And that could be the most frustrating for you. I'm genuinely sorry I hurt you. So is there something that has happened recently that has um, upset you? I feel an apology coming. I'm in a really dark place. They've got to pull themselves together. I don't feel good enough for you. This is kind of a recurring message from spirit today that they use this as I don't feel like you, you deserve better or I'm not good enough for you or you could find somebody better than me. And again, that's their ego talking. That's their ego wanting you to tell them that they're amazing and they're wonderful and they're everything. And they could be, but 
nobody wants to constantly be telling somebody who's insecure that, you know, that you're not going anywhere, you know, like this person has to get some security. This person's got to find it within themselves that they love themselves first and that they are um, worthy and deserving of any love, you know, including yours. So um, otherwise it's just going to be draining. Um, he or she was just a good time. I don't care about them. I'm genuinely sorry. I hurt you. If there was some kind of third party that interfered, I'm done acting like I don't care. I like that. Okay. I like the feeling of I am, I'm going to stop hiding my feelings. How about that? I'm going to stop hiding my feelings. I'm going to stop running away. There you go. I'm going to stop running away. If they do that, then this twin flame connection is going to have a chance. It really will. You'll find the love that you have found in each other. You will start to become more secure. You won't be using excuses. And this person will stop running away. I'm done acting like I don't care. There you go. So if that's the case, I want to claim that. I want to own that. I want that to happen. <laughs> I want the runner to stop running. Let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that uh, like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for your kind comments. Um, if anyone is interested in a private reading, I'll put my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.